Agoraphobia. You may not know what that is, even if you feel it. It means fear of clowns. And I think that anxiety... Oh, I thought it was the... Cool. Like, phobia I'm, being cool. I'm so cool. phobia. I'm afraid of being cool. But I think that anxiety is just going to increase in the general population when Stephen King's It comes out in theaters this September. It's We're eight. here. Yeah. We're here with the, uh, the the gang, the Losers Gang, the Losers Club from right. the yes. movie, the Misfits, who face down Pennywise the Clown. Yeah. Thanks for coming here and spending yeah, part of your comic yeah. Yeah. So I know last night you guys previewed some footage from It, and uh, yes, and. It was unfortunate that I watched that late at night because I had a lot of trouble sleeping. Uh, uh, tell me the scariest moment uh, that you had on set. Like, what was the freakiest thing? Because I know they kept Bill Skarsgård, who plays Pennywise, like away from you guys to uh -huh. amp up the uh, right, tension right. when you were finally on um, set. The scariest again. moment? Well, we, um, you guys had to see it, like, just like watch the film. I don't want to give anything away, but yeah, I think the true. scariest moment for, like, as a just actor was the first time we saw Pennywise. Um, he had the you know, the opportunity the to meet him, yeah, the, first, right. the pleasure <laughs> to meet Pennywise first. <laughs> and, um, but the first time we saw him was kind of, I felt like taken aback and very like, oh my gosh, like this is going to be good, yeah. you know? So yeah. I, was, I think that was the scariest for me. Is that for y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he nailed the hammer, well, nailed it. What? <laughs> metaphors. 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 You hit the nail on the head. Yeah, nail on the head. Yeah, exactly. On the head. Right? See, that shows we spend a lot of time on phones. We don't hammer or nails or anything. Well, your director, Andy the Machete Muschetti, told me that you guys, um, you know, that you're all, like, from cities and all, and, like, mm -hmm. hanging out in the woods and jumping into quarries is not yeah. your usual thing, that there was, like, a loser's boot camp. It was. Yeah, yeah. 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 there definitely was. What was loser's boot camp? What did you do? We, uh, we made films. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> BT. We, uh, yeah, we made films with each other, and uh, we, the first two weeks were us sort of just bonding. Um, right, Jack? Yeah. Because yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and we sort of just bonded, and uh, I guess that was the two weeks of boot camp, really. And then we had, like, swim lessons. A couple of us did, just oh, to yeah. make sure that we didn't drown. Yeah. Shout, <laughs> out, yeah. shout, shout out to um, Ben Perkins. Ben <laughs> Perkins, who was our um, acting coach <laughs> throughout the film. Ben oh, yeah, Ben. He is really awesome, you know. He's um, our acting coach. He's yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah shout out to him. Shout out to him. We, yeah, we did a lot. In the footage they showed last night, you guys are, uh, well, you weren't there. You weren't part of the no, club, in the quarry, but you're, uh, yeah. they're standing at the edge of the quarry looking over the cliff in their tidy whities And Sophia, mm -hmm. playing Bev Marsh, just rides up on her bike and leaps right in, calls them sissies on her way down. <laughs> like, yeah. Did you guys really jump off that cliff? No, we wanted uh, to. We, we Jane, kind of wanted to. No, I didn't to. want to. Jane was like, I'm do desperately it. wanting to. Hon okay, I'm honestly, saying. if it came down to it, Jane and Jack would be like, let's not do this. <laughs> I would. Like, uh, you're like, saying that. It's like, it's like 15 like meters or something. It was it so was high. It was at least some stunt doubles to do that. <laughs> no kids were harmed in the making <laughs> of this film. Uh, so, uh, just psychologically. Down. You're just psychologically scarred. No, psychologically scarred. Scar. Yeah. <laughs> from seeing so, the people jump. Yeah. So, um, have you? Uh, how much of the story did you guys know before you got involved with the film? Because mm -hmm. when I was your age, I read the novel. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's why I, I turned out to be a very disturbed, not very successful adult. But like, what? How much of the story did they want you to know, or did you kind of just stick to the script, or did you like actually dive into the Stephen King novel? Or? Well, for um, auditioning, yeah. for I knew much about it. I um, I watched the uh, miniseries and read parts. And you guys, there's a lot to read in such little time. I read all the parts that I was in, and I, um, me and in the group, so I could kind of get the sense of the character, but I never really read the whole thing. What yeah. the rest of you guys? Um, I actually didn't see the miniseries or read the book. Really? So yeah. You're going so I totally geez. stuck to the script, yeah. Is this going to be an R-rated movie? Do you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. 100%. So you know how many years do you have to each wait before you can see <laughs> your work? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, legally. Yeah. legally. It's definitely R-rated. <laughs> <laughs> so it's also set in 1989. Yes. Right? Right. Yeah. What do you think, as children of, not uh, me to talk down to your children, but like as kids yeah. of, of 2017, what's the weirdest thing about 1989? The short uh, shorts. Short shorts. Short yeah, shorts. Short shorts. Banana bikes. No, 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 the short shorts. No, they're all of our moms. So the clothes. Yes. They were so hard to Or the bikes. <laughs> I had a banana bike. Everybody else had a cool BMX. I, I was going. Uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say. Then I switched oh, up. Jeremy, yeah. I would not say BMX. cool. Okay. Well, all of them had a BMX bike. I had this, this little banana bike. Mine was black and <laughs> Which was the worst. <laughs> I say the hardest. It wasn't yeah, hard. Kind of like 
it wasn't hard to do it, but I think the most <laughs> different thing about being a kid in 1989 was that there's no cell phones. Yeah. You know? yeah. If someone had a cell phone, it was like in a car, attached to a car, or in a huge it was the size of a brick. Brick. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But you had to be where you were in right, that time yeah. and place. And also, you could disappear and have a secret life. Like, I was yeah. your age in 1989. And, like, if I didn't call home, there was nobody who could track me. Yeah, where are you? Yeah. And it wasn't always easy to find a phone. Right. Right. Got, well, maybe I don't have any quarters, you know? Sorry, yeah. Mom. Now we got Off the grid. I found you guys so bad. <laughs> not to go. Like today, I don't think any parents would let their kids wander into the sewers. No. That's just no. not an activity. That I mean, today. No. <laughs> maybe it'll no, come back. Not. Maybe this movie will bring that back. Sewer exploration. Yeah. Not, and and I, I hope it does. Because uh, there might be something lurking down below. Yeah, yeah you never maybe. know. Maybe. If there was, so, then what would it be? So, Finn, you're also in Stranger Things. Yeah. What would the kids <laughs> in Stranger Things think of it? Would they find that a relevant text for their predicament? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I, I'd sort of think of them as maybe the same, but if not a little more serious, because like he's sort of taken over the real world, um, and the Demogorgon sort of goes to different dimensions, so they have like a little time to run. But he's just there, so yeah. or Pennywise is just there. So, do you think Pennywise is in Dairy because right. he's feeding off of? Because he's feeding off of the anger and fear that's there naturally, or does he make it a worse place? Ooh, you that's, that's a great question. Will have I think, to probably. Well, well I, okay. I, well, we have theories. I mean, yeah, you can get and a there's theory. also a movie. It's also a book. So there's also a movie about it. <laughs> really? <laughs> I say, like theory-wise, because mm, I even watching the film, I don't know. I think it's more of you know Stephen King's genius. No one really knows what goes through his head. He just walks around and makes books true. nightmares. <laughs> but the, they call your group the losers, and you guys talked a little bit at the at the screening last night about why that's the case. Can you just tell me and give us like the sort of the one liner on your character? What is it that makes that character isolated in this town? I want to go like in order. Yeah, let's start with you. Um, I have no friends. I stay in the library for fun in the summer mm-hmm. instead of hanging out with friends. He's new to town, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 So sad. Father. Okay. <laughs> so, um, um, I have to live with my own fear, and um, I don't really talk to other people because I try to seclude myself, um, not um, to talk to other people, so I don't have to um, get hurt by them too. So. Good answer. Very good answer. Um, well, oh, sorry. Wait. So, what is it that makes Eddie <coughs> well, yeah. an outcast? He's like a hypochondriac, well, yeah, he's de- right? Yeah, he's definitely a hypochondriac, and he's uh, asthmatic, which is, like, gross. I mean, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. You're the asthmatic people? I mean, maybe he's he is, he's it makes him kind of out of the box, I, I guess. Um, and, I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, an outsider. No. Yeah, an outsider. Um, You're going to get a lot of letters from asthmatics. I know. We're not gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Oh, God. No. <laughs> it's not what he meant. No. Uh, I see what you're saying, though. Yeah. I know what he meant. Um, <laughs> No, but like, oh he's also God. very short, and he's kind of a little, he's kind of afraid of a lot of things, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. that's kind of what makes him an outsider, outcast. Um, Richie sort of has this abusive sort of family, um, his dad's a dentist, and his mom is like an alcoholic, so, <laughs> so he's never really paid attention to. Um, by either of them, so when he's, I guess, in his group, his defense mechanism is to be always, like, joking. Um, he's the class clown. Yeah, he's the class clown, um, to sort of make up for this wow. sort of... Clown? To make up for this sort of, um... <laughs> oh, I get like it. a self-defense <laughs> Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. How about Mike Hanlon? <laughs> Mike Hanlon? Ooh. He's, like, the strongest, the biggest... Yeah. It's Ooh. funny, because I'm not really a tall guy, so it was weird being tall. Well, you were t- around taller than us. <laughs> yeah, taller than yeah, us. Yeah, you know, so it kind of boosted my ego a little bit. Um, but I say uh, Mike Hanlon, he's kind of like the best friend anybody could have, mm-hmm. you know, because of how he grew up, kind of an outsider because of, you know, racial tension. Yeah. Um, it kind of separated him, so he really never spent any time out with anyone mm-hmm. hanging. He doesn't go out on a Friday night. He yeah, stays home and... One of the only black families right, in this in town, this, right? In the town, so um, that kind of separates him just from geographically he's nowhere near the town but um i think emotionally that kind of sets him back because he doesn't really know maybe how to socialize as much 
and that kind of makes them really appreciate when someone takes the time to say, hey, I, I like you for who you are. Yeah. So I think Mike Hamlin is such a sweet guy. Yeah, I totally want to be like yeah. my, I want to be like Mike Hamlin. He's like a farm boy. He's a cowboy. Yeah, he's like, oh, he's so sweet. Like, that's, the best, that's the best. That's the best friend you want to have. He's also kind of. He's also <laughs> kind of a badass, right? Yes. He <laughs> protects his own. <laughs> yeah, he's a stable. That is true. Why, tell us about Stan Uris. Uh Stan is. Uh, he's the Jew, of course. Um, <laughs> so he's facing prejudice too. Right? Yes, of course. Oh, yeah, of and uh, what? Because you gotta do the burpees, but he didn't want to do the burpees. I'm sorry. That was. Okay. Yeah, okay, Keep so going. Stan is always under a lot of pressure, mainly from his dad because he's a rabbi, and um, he feels pressured to be, like, the perfect son. The Boy Scout. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally a Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, he's very uptight, he has OCD, and he just wants to make sure everything's in order, and, yeah. you know, when Pennywise comes into the picture, it kind of messes everything up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he's the one that's most scared of it. So give me a sense of the freakiest thing you saw Bill Skarsgård do. Your director, Andy, told me that when he first was working with him, he's like, I'm going to have you do, I'm going to do a digital thing where I make Pennywise's eyes go in opposite directions. And Bill apparently told him, I can do that naturally. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was, he's such a fantastic actor. Everything that he did. He's very yeah, he's so good. Everything that he did was, uh, was amazing. His movements are so unique. That yeah, it he took classes. Him yeah, he's really in touch with the body. Classes? He took, like, he he took like um movement classes. No, like contortionist <laughs> classes and stuff. Oh really? Yeah, he did. did. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, I, I think before we wrap, we attention and respect must be played to Sophia's dress. Can you show us? Where did you find a creepy clown dress? Where did I get it? Oh, sorry. Actually, in Atlanta, I was looking. Yeah. I was looking around and I couldn't really find anything at like Bloomingdale's or mm -hmm. any other of the costume stores and I passed by this <laughs> little costume shop and uh, it was um, like all this oh. weird stuff and um, well, I saw I this and I immediately thought, this is mine. I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of this dress That's with true. this movie. Too bad it was a large, so I had oh. to like... Grow into it? <laughs> we gotta start she eating. Won't. No, no, I had to. I had to get it. Oh, you gotta take it in. Take it yeah. in. Excellent. Cool. It looks lovely. You guys gotta, gotta step it up. I expect to see you all in clown gear. Yeah, she uh, shows. Yeah. 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 We'll do our she best. Yeah. yeah, we'll do our best. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> the losers permit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned to more all week long at EW.com live from San Diego Comic Con.